Hey guys, I'm Luke here. If you guys want to know how I made this look, please stay tuned and watch the video. Thanks. First, we're going to start off by priming our eyes with White by NYX. As you guys tell, I'm using basically the same palette in most videos because I don't own that much and I know a lot of people don't own as many palettes too. So I'm just trying to keep it that way. So this one is Fall in Louvre and it was a limited edition for Tarte and I'm just placing that all over my crease. Palace to the side and fall in move together to put it all over my eyelid. Watch this. Ooh, magic. <laughs> I'm getting fall in Louvre and mercy you later. Oh my god, these veins will go. As I take these colors, I'm gonna put it in a straight line, dabbing it slowly across my eyelid with a angled brush. Now slowly I'm gonna bring that towards the crease area, dragging it towards the center. Now take in Merci you later and Moulin Rouge. And I'm going to practically do the same thing, but in a smaller area. So it slowly just gets tinier and tinier. First, we've created a big base, and then we're just working our way down. And now I'm going to take my fluffy brush and blend that all out. I also grabbed a little bit of Fallen Louvre and placed it onto my crease once more to create more of a bright pink color. Now grabbing Merci You Later and I Think I Can. And I'm slowly going to grab a smaller angled brush. Now taking that color and slowly placing it on the outer edge of my eye. I'm making like a V-like motion here. For the fun part, I grabbed my electric palette by Urban Decay and got the color Urban and Jilted and I slowly mixed those together. Then I was going to take the Chaos and Gonzo. So first starting off with Urban and Jilted, I took my angled brush, my big angled brush, and I just slowly placed it on the outer edge of my eye just so it can give a more purpley kind of color to match with the pink tones that I created. Now I took more of Jilted and just a wee bit of Urban and placed it on the outer edge of my eye making a smaller, tiny, little um, angle with my short angle brush. This is actually a great way to create more depth into the eye so it almost gives an ombre-ish effect. Gotta get my hair down. Ah! <laughs> now for the primary eye color for this, I'm using Chaos by Urban Decay. It's such a lovely tone of blue. Then I'm grabbing my angled brush again, and I'm just flickering that outwards, and slowly just dabbing it down. Then I'm getting Gonzo, another lighter shade of blue. I grabbed just a tiny brush for this, and sadly I got out of focus this video. <laughs> I didn't even see the lighting was terrible as well. But all I was doing is patting that just gently out where I placed the darker blue. 
So it almost gives it a gradient effect from purple to a uh, darker blue and then to a uh, lighter blue. So it almost just fades out into a cotton candy-like color. Then I'm going to grab Fallen Louvre once more. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to blend that right out, blending all the colors from the crease. This creates more of a vibrant effect as well to blend it with the color that you are using for your crease. I'm grabbing the weirdest color names ever, which is... On a good Notre Dame and Le Cordon Bleu. And then I'm just gonna grab that with a fluffy brush. And I'm just gently gonna dab that. I don't want it to be too dark because we're gonna put eyeliner on top of that soon. And then we're gonna add extra color later on. But all I'm doing is just dabbing it just to, to give it a nice smoky almost effect as well. Now I'm grabbing Palace of Versailles and also fall in Louvre and dabbing that and then I'm just slowly gonna go into the center of my eyelid and then bringing that outwards just to brighten up the eye a little bit. Now going in with Gonzo and Chaos, I grabbed a um, angled brow brush and I'm just placing that below my eye, down near the waterline. Then I'm just blending that out with a fluffy brush. Now grabbing Palace of Versailles and Chantilly Lace. And I'm just taking those colors with a small little tiny brush. Dabbing it um, into the corners of my eyes to give my eyes a uh, brighter feel and um, It also creates your eyes to look larger. Not that I need that, but <laughs> it's a great technique Now I'm just gonna grab my contour brush and I'm gonna just take the colors that I have in this palette and um, I actually used I believe a little bit of Fallen Louvre and merci you later and I just uh, mix that as like a contoured color for my cheekbones and I just place it on the sides I kind of just contour all over my face where it needed so you might think you're blind in this part but you're not don't worry about that this actually is um, brilliant berry by Lancome I believe I got this as a gift from one of my best friends mom shout out to her um, she actually taught me a few tips and tricks about makeup and basically now I just did my eyeliner here uh, I didn't screw up again so that was great some days you have like best eyeliner days um, and other times you just need to practice and get it over with <laughs> I went in with my Revlon liner because I just found that the other one is just better for tracing and this one is just better to fill out and make it more black. Next, I am taking my Urban Decay palette and I'm going back in again with Chaos. So that's just to give my eye a little bit more, um, I guess, depth in a way. It makes your eyes look more um, luxurious and elegant and I just love it, that effect it gives me. Um, this, act this actual look was inspired by the first day of snow going on in Canada. It's not um, as snowy as a few years back but it actually has little tiny snowflakes so I thought I should make this kind of cotton candy snow feel look for this year. Now 
about taking the best brush you could find, your fingertips. Sometimes it's just much better to pack on that color. I tacked that on to uh, the center of my eyelid and just to give it more of a like this bright kind of suave look. Now I'm taking Darlingly Nude in um, I think this color. This is one of my favorite drugstore lipsticks actually. Um, I think it's a great, uh, it's a better with the lip liner though because it kind of just uh, settles in and leaves cracks. Um, and yeah, basically I just grabbed my white by NYX and then I placed it on my brow bone to highlight it. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I will see you guys Friday. Please make sure to comment, favorite, and share. And also check down the social medias below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Pixie dust.